Hey guys, so now that I'm done picking up after the junkyard, cleaning my shed, and all those other kind of garage type chores you have to do on your weekend, um, now I am playing with the Mustang and I am trying to figure out how I'm going to get it lifted up so I can undercoat the floors. Um, my dad had the idea to use the engine hoist and that's kind of what I have done. Uh, I've got it on a test lift right now. I want to chain it up better before I even think about crawling under there. So uh, don't try this at home unless you're really crazy like I am. But I need somehow to get under there and this seems to work. So as you can see the car is nose in the air and I've got an 8 ton engine hoist so it's more than capable of holding it. Um, my chain is slightly questionable, but uh, I have a bigger one that I will be using to, uh, uh, you know, if this is the way I end up doing things. Um, you can see my firewall I've painted. Under here you can see the better idea, or get a better idea of the rust that I'm dealing with. Hopefully the camera picks that up. And the floorboards are just starting to get a little surface rusty from sitting. So hopefully, now that I've got this thing up in the air, I can pull the rusty fuel lines out of it. Um, and clean up the underside really, really good and pour 15 the heck out of her and, uh, you know, start working on the rest of it. Uh, I'll probably work three quarters of the way back and then uh, have to wait until I pull the rear axle out of it to do the rest. Um, because I don't, but I don't know how I'm going to pull the back up because uh, there's no, obviously, there's no point like here I can pick it up. So I'll have to figure that part out. Um, but I'll get most of it undercoated uh, before the winter, and actually now this gives me a good uh, a good time to pull the cross member out of it. I've got brand new bolts for it. Those are frozen in there, so I'll just cut those out and uh, put new ones in. So, but uh, at least you guys can see what I'm working with here, and I'm going to try and cut the uh, cut the sway bar out of it, cut the bolts, and drill some new holes, and uh, you know, so hopefully soon we'll start moving along here. I did have somebody comment the other day that uh, it's taken me a while, and, and it has, and anybody who uh, who is an avid car fan slash restorer understands that it takes time, um, because it is a hobby and other things get in the way, uh, other halves, uh, kids, other cars, um, daily drivers, work, yeah, I don't have to list it off any more than that, I'm sure, and those of you who have your own house understand way more than I do that other things get in the way so um, yes it has taken me a while it is taking me a while um, also it costs a lot of money to build a car like this uh, by the time I'm done with this car I'm probably gonna have close to 10 to 12 grand into this car um, but it should be quick and uh, it'll be built the way I want it built and that's the one cool thing about building your own vehicle uh, because you can build it the way you want it um, and I should have done more of this with the truck and more of this with the last few vehicles I've built and I want this car done the right way the first time because uh, I'd like it I'd like to take it to shows and stuff so that's the goal with it that's where I'm at uh, stay tuned for more guys I'll have more videos for you soon